Hey, what is going on guys? Edward here, back with another video. Thank you so much for being here again. So FOMC, today um, the market was hectic, a little hectic uh, due to the FOMC report um, that was released by Jerome Powell. And pretty much everything is still the same as always. Um, has been for, for the last couple of weeks, you know, every time they throw a report, everything is pretty much either bad or the same. That's why markets will keep crashing. Now, why the market pushed up? You know, that's how the markets react sometimes when there are news. Now, it uh, sometimes it could create some type of injection or volume to the upside, uh, even though the news were either like the same, they did they they didn't move at all. Or sometimes, and you could you could see this. Sometimes the market will go up during the, the you know by the time the news are being released, and then sometimes maybe maybe even dropping during Asian session or overnight by the next day. That's when it start crashing. So, uh, but anyways, our um, or our intention right here on US 30 was pretty much uh, to buy after the market had created liquidity at the bottom, liquidity at the, top, at the top, you can see that the market actually did push. And this is 9.30, this is the New York Stock Exchange opening here. The price pushed, grabbing this, the, uh, this liquidity here, even sp spiking out and, and even grabbing more liquidity at the top, right here all over the zone, grabbing all this liquidity and then it started going down, 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 down. So somewhere at 2, this was at 2 p.m. Right here, 2 p.m. This is when the news, uh, when the report was actually released. So you see a big spike, uh, pretty much a lot of indecision. So big spike to the upside, to the downside. Started struggling until finally actually going up and hitting our 1 to 11 risk reward in this order block formation we had on a five minute time frame. So um, this was on US 30. I got stopped out on NASDAQ, however, uh, today it did a little it, it trick me and I did got stopped out. The price actually ended up after stopping me out, the freaking, US, uh, the freaking NASDAQ ended up actually going my direction and hitting the TP. This would have been a one to eight risk to reward. So yeah, pretty nasty right there. Um, on, on NASDAQ. S&P 500 was able to catch it a little aggressive uh, but it was an order block also formation kind of similar uh, to uh, NASDAQ very very similar at the bottom right here the five minute the price pushed up and uh, giving that one to nine almost one to ten risk to reward in there after that of course you can see that that's what happened the market just ended up pushing up now very interesting what could happen at the moment okay if you've been seeing and watching my videos and um, let's see what the market is going to do okay because the indices in overall right now are showing different things for example s p 500 it's looking like it wants to continue going up it looks like it really wants to continue going up i want to see if uh, the market will actually push is very very weird that the, uh, if it pushes like that but I want to see the market push activate that sell and have a massive crash that would be a beautiful beautiful drop right there and um, since we are having that beautiful order block one hour order block in there if it's pop, uh, if it's going to happen and um, right now I'm seeing that the price broke also that that resistance right there it broke it and it's showing signs that it wants to go up. But if you look on US 30, US 30 is actually below the zone. And if anything, the scenario for this thing is actually to go selling. It activated that one hour order block. It reacted, nice reaction. Now we're seeing, I'm gonna show you this little peak right here for free. And you can guys see, uh, you can see that um, the market, I'm expecting for the market to go a little higher also activate a potential order block I'm not saying that will happen I'm saying that the potential because I'm seeing a BOS the break of a structure I'm seeing that the the change of character right here 
this is a nice clean drop so guess what yes this is a potential order block formation right there so I'm expecting maybe during Asian session the market will consolidate maybe London session it will try to spike up a little bit touch that thing and then drop so I want to see if the market will actually drop uh, tomorrow um, this entire week is gonna be pretty much news there are a lot of news NFP day also on Friday and uh, I think tomorrow we have some sort of news as well I will double check that but I think we also have news tomorrow okay so expecting some kind of drop on US 30 Nasdaq has broken uh, those previous highs so you see it's starting to look bullish and it's getting closer to that order block as well so I want to catch I want to catch that Nasdaq sale I don't think is gonna be pushing up or going up in any time soon right I don't think markets will be correcting because things are still bad everything is still bad inflation is still bad the war in Ukraine is still there so you know uh, there's no reason why this thing will be pushing up it's just that it will correct sometimes markets will correct it's not gonna be that easy even if the market will crash and everything is bad they are not gonna make it that easy for us like okay let's go selling on a straight line right or or let's go buying on a straight line up everybody will be rich if this thing was like that right so um, at this point you know something to understand that uh, markets could still uh, looks like right now the direction is looking up it's pulling back and look at this massive drop right here so yes another potential order block at the top maybe after reaching it we could have a big big crash again and potentially aiming even this previous lows right here so this is gonna be a really nice drop if it happens that's gonna be a really nice oof, almost 1000 pip drop right there oh let's see if that's what's gonna happen in the next couple of days not sure if it's gonna happen this week maybe not maybe next week but something to be prepared okay so if you want to see me trading if you want to see me actually trading like this and, and and watching the setups and everything I do have a VIP group I do have I'm offering a bundle right now you can go on my website teamprofitsfx.com and you will see that I'm offering a bundle right now which comes with my course a mentorship and a VIP signal group for life okay and I do share in that VIP signal group for life I do share all my setups everything I do I do explain breakdowns uh, behind the scenes I do explain everything in there everything I'm doing if I'm getting a stopped out if I'm not getting in if I'm trading if I'm not trading all of that stuff you guys want to see it's in there too for you to learn okay if you're looking only for signals this is not for you I don't I don't recommend you getting this if you're only looking for signals right so my idea here is to actually teach so again guys if you're new on the channel Please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. It motivates me to keep posting videos like this every single day. I want to show you what we are doing every single day. You can also follow me on Instagram. I will leave the link below. If not, just uh, just go on Edward Team Profits and type in Edward Team Profits and you will find out this is my real account. Be careful there if there is some type of a scammers or something. I would normally not reach out to you directly. You are the one who are who can reach me I don't I normally I don't reach out my uh, my followers okay so be careful there all right with some some type of scammers so again thanks guys for watching I'll see you in the next one take it easy guys